when it comes to communication, you learn how to talk. A soft answer turns away wrath. The way we communicate is, is as important as the, what we are saying itself. Hallelujah. Yeah. The way we communicate is as important as what we are saying. Sometimes maybe even more important than what you are saying. Because if what, the way you are presenting it is not acceptable, then what you are saying will not make sense to the person. A soft answer turns away wrath. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Look at chapter 25 of Proverbs 25, verse 11. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in setting of silver. A word fitly spoken. So you know how to communicate what to say and how to say it. Hallelujah. So it's so important we learn how to communicate. Look at James 3 and 13. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show, show out a good conversation, his works with meekness of wisdom. The way you present yourself, the way you communicate, very important. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show forth, let him show out of a good conversation, his works with meekness of wisdom. We have the tendency to react, we have the tendency to, to revenge. That is the problem. She speaks to me this way, I must go louder now to prove I'm actually better. She says, okay, you are louder, I'll go even the loudest. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. keep increasing the volume from 5 to 20 to 30 to 50. Suddenly the neighbors are calling the police now. Mm -hmm. We are hearing some civil war going mm -hmm. on in the house there. It's true. So because we are trying to revenge, trying to outdo the other one. So that is not proper. So the Bible says we show forth our wisdom in the way we communicate. Hallelujah. You know, uh, in, in our culture here, in our culture here in North America, when you say that you have to humble yourself, it's like you don't care. You don't care about my feelings. How can I humble myself to a person who is rude and harsh and, and, and to me? But we go back again to the Bible. The love of Christ to us. He accepted everything. The suffering, the shame, the despise. He took it all. Understand? But we cannot do it. We cannot do it to our to each other. The communication. If you say you're stupid, I have to say you're stupid too. But who is going to teach who? Understand? I remember a long time ago, we just got born again. My husband did it like what I was dealing with. I was dealing with Hard situation. And one day he was so harsh on me. And I said, if I react here, I'm going to spoil everything. We didn't have children yet. And I said, what my spiritual mom would do at this situation, in this situation? I went down. I went soft. I say, if I, boom, and I know how to do it, I can do it very good. But that day, it was just the Holy Spirit who brought me down. And I said, why can't you help me? If you see that I have a situation, why can't you help me? And you have the capacity to help me. See my voice? See my tongue? Understand? Solved everything. But here in this culture, you do me, I do you. That's how we say it in, in Nigeria. You know? You're Nigerian now? Yes, I'm more Nigerian than you. <laughs> you do me, I do you. So you do something bad, you say something to me, I say the same thing. So we are equal. Amen. My spiritual mom, I'm going to give you this example and I want you to make comments. We're talking about this mama, uh, my parents. 
My spiritual mom was the founder of the ministry. 